All right, I'm pretty sure this is called the Forestry Cloth Cruiser Shirt. I mean, I'll put the correct name of this in the title. I couldn't look it up before I filmed because I film out in my garage and I have no internet out here. So I'll put the correct name in the title. So if I call it the wrong thing, just deal with it. You know, you didn't pay anything for this. So you're lucky I'm even doing it because I look like an idiot. Anyway, Forestry Cloth Cruising Shirt. Uh, this is a current product as of today. Remember, this is a snapshot in time. If you're looking at this 40 years in the future, right? I mean, come on, people. Anyway, the comment sections can really get lively on some videos. But current as of 2023 in the wintertime. Um, yeah, and so this is, I'm a, this is extra large size. I'm six foot two and a half, 255 pounds. This fits with uh, enough extra room that I can comfortably put enough layers on underneath to stay warm in temperatures under 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, there's a lot of room in the sleeves, like not a lot, but enough. And the cuff is nice and large. So starting at the cuff, cause I'm looking at it and thinking about it, it's button closure. You have two buttons, a loose and uh, a loose one and a tight one. And either, I usually leave it on the tight one, uh, but they, they work great. And then you, you actually can roll the sleeves up on this um, particular shirt. I'm not gonna do it, but you can, you can roll them up because the fabric's thin enough. It's a 13 ounce worsted wool. You can read all about it on Felsen's website. Uh, it's different from their Mackinac wool. It's not as fuzzy. Things tend not to stick to it as much, and it's a thinner uh, fabric. I mean, by weight, it, it's they list it as half the weight of Mackinac wool. I would say that for its thickness, it's probably better at shedding water and wind than most wool fabrics are, at least most wool fabrics that I've ever had, because this stuff's pretty thin. Um, and uh, so, so I talked about the cuff. The cuff is two layers of uh, worsted wool down here. And then you got two layers on the pocket, two layers on the collar. And then believe it or not, the shoulders on this are caped. So there's actually through this seam right here, there's actually a little seam right here next to the pocket. And you can see that little seam runs here. And so they actually put two layers across the, the shoulders and the upper back, which is phenomenal. And uh, I thank them for it. And they, I didn't see that advertised when I bought it. So I was kind of surprised. And that really adds um, you know, for warmth, sure, you know, I guess, you know, you really want to insulate the torso for warmth. So I don't think two layers of fabric just across the shoulders and the upper back is going to do much for you in terms of warmth. But really what it's going to do is add a lot of water resistance to the garment because this is the part, you know, where water just soaks in. I mean, it always starts at the shoulders, right? You're upright, the rain's coming down, it's hitting your upper chest, your shoulders, and your upper back. And giving you that extra layer of fabric to that area is really going to add uh, to the water shedding ability of this garment and that would jive with my experience. I don't, you know, I, I have dedicated uh, wax cotton rain jackets that I wear when it's really dumping out, but if I get caught in a downpour when I'm out in this and I have a couple of times, my shoulders have stayed wet. Like my arms start getting, my shoulders have stayed dry, excuse me. My arms start getting wet and my body down below that caping and the pocket starts to get wet before my shoulders do because the shoulders are uh, double layered. And that's really nice. Um, you can see we have, was it three buttons here? Yeah, four buttons. Four button Henley style. We don't have buttons that go down low. It's generously cut, it goes down pretty far. So this is a really good material to use as an outer layer. So if you're into layering and you want a wool outer layer, this is an excellent pullover for that. Uh, I use it that way. It also, because it's relatively thin material, it works great under a coat or a jacket. So it's a really versatile piece and it looks really different. Like the asymmetrical pockets, I'm sure you can see they're asymmetrical and they have snaps, just regular brass snaps, which are uh, painted green or powder coated green. So they look good. And the pockets are huge. These, these booby pockets, as I think the iron snail calls them, uh, these chest pockets are huge. And then you have three small pockets here on the front of this pocket that you can put like a pencil or a screwdriver or something like that in. And uh, of course you can, you can button it up, you know, of course, and, and then uh, flip up the collar if you like. And I'll flip the collar up for you so you can get a look at that. Yeah. And then uh, 
Overall, big fan. They have a forestry cloth cruiser jacket as well. Uh, I think either one's a win. This one's a lot less expensive and probably is just as useful and warm. So this would be, you know, this was my choice because the, the jacket is 425 and this one is, I think it's 265. And uh, I do not regret this at all. It's, it's um, not the softest wool in the world. It is a little scratchy, but it's very comfortable. I can wear it, you know, just by itself without a shirt underneath it. I almost always wear a t-shirt underneath everything, but I can and I have, and it hasn't been an issue. You know, if you're real sensitive to the scratchy sensations of wool, maybe this isn't for you, but um, yeah, the large pockets, the versatility, uh, it's got its own weird look to it. So I love the asymmetrical pockets are like my favorite part. It's just weird. Like I've never seen that before. And, you know, people have different thoughts about that. But again, you know, this is a utility garment. This isn't a style garment, right? This is something you, you should be wearing because you need something that can perform the way this performs. And you're not going to be as concerned about looking cool or hip with the kids. So, yeah. Anyway, two thumbs up for me. I love it. Um, I've worn it enough. I haven't worn it a ton because it started um, it started getting warmer. It's actually right now is a really good time to wear it because it's about 50, 55 degrees outside and it's raining. So, you know, with a, with a thin jacket over it or just layer under it with other wool, you know, it would actually perform excellent in this kind of, uh, this kind of weather. So, yeah, but that's it.